fight through the hangars. So, dude, you literally got a shot in the back. You should be dead by the first shot. Do we go through here? Damn it! Oh, thanks for opening. The fuck was that? Don't play cat and mouse with me here. Take it. Alright, no ammo in the garant. Ah, okay. Oh my god! <laughs> nice camouflage, dude! No ammo? Damn. Okay. Oh shit, a bazooka! Why did- what? <laughs> Crazy! Did- Ah! Oof, okay. That's a little bit dangerous. Oh, here. Ammo for my beauty. Okay. We go. Hmm, I guess through here. I'll take this. Oh, no ammo. Uh, at least I wore a hat. <laughs> Nice job, dude. Do you like my hat? I can't take this off. <laughs> this bastard's rebuilt her, so we are gonna steal her back. Everybody's already on board, including Sergeant Ollie. I'm so sorry about what happened. Oh, here we go. He was a great kid. Yeah, whatever. We'll reflect on it later. We are gonna need an escort out of here. Do you think you could liberate a 109 to help us out? With pleasure. Lieutenant? Please get that off my mind. <laughs> okay. How do I pressure water? Cleaning simulator? <laughs> Reformance. Oh my god. Ah. 
I heard you. <laughs> oh, my controller. No. <laughs> There you go. Oh my god, that's a lot of them there. Why they're running in circles? No bazookas. Okay. <laughs> Damn. Bye bye. No, no, no. You're not invited. <laughs> uh uh. Ooh. Damn. Oh my god, that's crazy seeing that now in airborne. <laughs> it's the end! Okay, so I wanna know like literally what happens when I click continue because there's no storyline after this mission, I'm pretty sure. We are back here. What's a CODA? I hear we're going to change our name from the OSS to something called the CIA. Oh! Should be interesting. But no, what's next for all of you? It's time to rebuild our country. Liberation was only the first step. What about you, Sergeant? Heading home? I think I'm going to stay and help with the occupation and the rebuilding. I've seen enough wars in Europe. I want to make sure there isn't ever another one. Aww. That, Sergeant, is something we all can believe in. Godspeed to you, Edgar. Come on. Even I'm doing Sarge. We're back in the main menu again. But is it the same? Yeah, okay. Interesting. So there was no like proper ending. Kinda weird and like anticlimactic. I thought the ending would be like, I don't know, more effective or something like that. The only kind of ending we got is that Oli died. <laughs> That's pretty much it. He sacrificed himself for the greater good. What a hero. Honestly, I mean, this is a style of Second World War II, like, you know, this moral of the story, but it's whatever to me. So that's kind of weird. Like there is no in your face ending of the game. You finish all the missions and that's pretty much it. Then you have multiplayer survival and Galari is actually the thing that's like a real interviews with the actual veterans, you know, from the Second World War survivors and we have unlocked pretty much everything because they patched uh, that uh, you unlock whole gallery by not uh, you know having to play the campaign let's roll credits you know this game released so much hate when it released 
Like, people were saying that it's like the worst VR game ever because of the... I don't know even, because Half-Life Alex primarily set the bar so high for PC VR games that this one seemed like a very much a downgrade in terms of mechanics. But like, for me, this game is one of the best currently. I've not had so much fun in shooter ever. It was a pleasure to play this game, like, throughout every mission pretty much there is. There were some couple annoying things but like there was not really anything that was like very pushing me to like quit the game unlike Warhammer <laughs> for example. The mechanics were so fluid so like not hard to understand. I think the biggest positive about this game is the graphics. If you have this hardware to pull off ultra graphics like me for example this game is beautiful like I was actually feeling that I was in those times in those you know scenarios in Norway, in France, in Germany. Like Respawn really did this. I love the sound design as well. The characters were fun as well but at the same time there was some discrepancy with the storyline. Basically after mission 2 when we saved Juliet we started having out of the blue kind of missions. You know once in submarine, once here in Norway, once somewhere else. So it essentially was traveling through other regions to see how the war was kinda portrayed but it was not inherently very consistent with the actual storyline that the game presented. The game is a reconstruction of the World War II times just like with the gallery and just theme but I feel like after mission 2 the actual plot was too broken down pretty much. Nevertheless it was fun. I feel like the last mission really pulled off with the whole doctor was it Gonyek or something like that? A Polish scientist, which was very interesting. I mean, I think I've learned myself few things that I've never thought that happened in Second World War II. And that was the main promise of this game, to be educational and fun to play through. I actually can't wait to see how if they will pull off a quest port because this is such a strong IP as a Medal of Honor by itself. It will even surpass storyline of Walking Dead for sure if it, the port is gonna release because it is actually a full production. To be fair I don't know what we can do you know more. It's basically we are coming back to the menu and we can repeat the missions for the extras whatever. Multiplayer is something that uh, is gonna keep like kinda alive this game but but it's not really gonna blow up up until it's not gonna be on quest because on quest there's community on pc vr it's basically dying i mean it's not dying but the vr industry is still too small for having huge multiplayer games scattered around we have population one but that's pretty much it you know honestly i've never had so much fun with the game in a long time like that if it comes to the gameplay and storyline in cohesion that's pretty much it from the game so i love that and Hopefully more games like that will come.